my childhood in Somalia was uh, fantastic. It was good. Um, I grew up in in the in the villages, and I grew up. My family background is um, Norman, so I've, I've grown up with my family. Um, I've not been to the cities before. Um, I came to England, so grown up as a typical boy looking after animals. Early memories uh, as a childhood, obviously, as I said, I've grown up in the villages far away from the city so it's a different memory um, I remember growing up looking after um, the family animals um, being the main person I was the eldest of child of eight children um, so I've taken a lot on my shoulder at the time um, I know I, uh, I remember I obviously was made to work hard a lot of the times but I think it was a good thing for me to, to be able to do that really um, I enjoyed a lot of the times in uh, my childhood because of of the the support I had from my from my um, parents um, and you know I was fortunate in a number of ways although I was working hard looking after the family animals etc and I didn't go to school or enjoy myself and did what other children were doing playing um, then again I was f fortunate of um, being have you know having a, a two um, good parents who pulled me up into you know as an as a, as a good person as far as I concern there was no housing in Somalia obviously everybody there's no need for housing uh, I don't know if you've been to Somalia there is you know if you actually grown up in the villages you don't need a house you no, just need some, you just need to sleep in the street and as far as, as long as you have a, a blanket and, and a piece of um, um, something to sleep on uh, then that's it you know there's, there's traditional upper Somali houses that, that that is usually for the family so when you usually reach certain age uh, particularly as a young man when you reach eight um, years old or even sometimes earlier than that you actually don't have to sleep in the family house it's only the sisters and um, the mother and the husband who who, who sleep in that house 